open up your textbooks to page 116. Okay, so go ahead and find this page, pause the video, make sure you're here, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, you should be done if you pause the video. All right, so, oh, wait, I almost forgot. We have a special celebrity guest today. Yes, joining us today, we have here Mr. Dogman. Oh, howdy. How are you doing? Oh, hello, Mr. Dogman. We are so excited. We see you in so many books. Well, yes, I am quite a celebrity, and uh, I will be here today enjoying your teaching, Miss Berry. I hear you teach very well, very well indeed. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Dogman, Mr. Dogman. Um, that is very kind of you. Oh, uh, yes, no problem at all, no problem at all. Okay, um, ooh, I hope I can teach without being so distracted by our celebrity. Okay, here we go. All right, first things first, the word is ready. What word? Good. We are ready to pick apples. Repeat with me. We are ready to pick apples. Great. Second thing second, the word is country. What word? Good. We live in the country. Repeat with me. We live in the country. Great job. Okay, third thing's third. So the word is soil. What word? Good job. We planted the flowers in the soil. Repeat. We planted the flowers in the soil. Fourth thing's fourth. The word is kinds. What word? There are many kinds of butterflies here. Repeat with me. There are many kinds of butterflies here. Fifth things fifth. The word is earth. What word? She covers the seeds with earth. Repeat after me. She covers the seeds with earth. Great job so far. Okay, six things six. The word is almost. What word? The apples are almost ripe. Good job. Let's repeat it. The apples are almost ripe. Here we go. Number seven thing seventh. The word is covers. What word? Great. Pollen covers the bee. Repeat. Pollen covers the bee. Eight things eighth. The word is warms. Repeat, warms. Great job. The oven warms our apple pie. Can you repeat that sentence? The oven warms our apple pie. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn the page. All right, so here we're gonna be looking at a target skill. It's kind of what we're going to focus on in the story, okay? So it says here, it says many selections tell about things in the order which they happen, okay? Good job. And this order is called sequence of events. You're going to think about what happens first and next and last as you read, okay? And so just like here, you have first, next, and last. Okay, so can you think of a situation where you might tell what would happen first and next and last? Yeah, well, I have one. How about how what you did this morning to get ready for the day? Now, I know most of you are probably staying at home, so maybe you didn't really like get up and do all the normal things you would do, but maybe you still did some things, okay? Can you tell me about some of those things that you did? Oh, I can help, I can help. Oh, y yes, um, princess, why don't you go ahead and tell us about how you got ready this morning using your sequence of events. Can you tell us that? Yes, um, like I woke up this morning and then I rolled out of bed. Next, I put this beautiful bow on. I love my pink bow. And 
then finally, or last, I walked downstairs to eat breakfast. Great job, princess. That's exactly right. We used a sequence of events. Now that's a sequence of events in a story. Can you use first, next, last with a different situation? Oh, howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah, I can help with that, Miss Ferry. Oh, um, yes, celebrity dog man. Go ahead. I'll, I'll sit over here and listen. Uh, yes. So if I were to tell my friends about uh, making a sandwich, that would be something that would take different steps. So maybe first I would get the bread out. And next, I would put the peanut butter and the jelly on the two pieces of bread. And last, I'd eat it all, all to myself. And, and I would have to wipe the jelly off and the peanut butter off. And yeah, I probably would be a little messy. But that's how you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich using your sequence of events. Oh, thank you so much, Celebrity Dog Man, for that example. Exactly. Wasn't he fantastic? Okay, let's look over here. We are going to look at a life cycle of a plant. Okay, let's read together. A seed is planted. A small plant sprouts up. It grows bigger. Then beans grow on the plant. Inside the beans are more seeds, which can be planted. This is the life cycle of a bean plant. Every living thing has a life cycle. You will read about the life of an apple tree. In a tree is a plant. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the page. Okay, all right. The genre is informational text. What is it? Good, and remember that is about real things. So we are going to see some real information in this story. Now a little bit different, some of the pictures might be like drawings or artists' ways of showing things, but that's okay because it is still informational. They're just trying to give us some pictures to help us understand something that maybe they couldn't take with a regular photo. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's go ahead and turn the page. A tree is a plant. A tree is the biggest plant that grows. Most kinds of trees grow from seeds, the way small plants do. There are many kinds of trees. Here are a few of them. How many do you know? Let's name them. This one here, this is a maple tree. These ones up here, you've probably seen them around the neighborhood. This is a conifer. And this here, that's a persimmon. And these are palms. We see plenty of those here in California. And this is a lemon tree. We also have tons of those. And this pretty tree right here, that's a willow tree. Okay? Now, what do you think about what you read about trees? I want you to think about that. What do you think the trees in this picture grew from? What do you think? Hmm? Do you? Yes, Slobber. Did it? Yes, you're right. They, they grew from a seed. They mostly grow from seeds. Good job, Slobber. And why do they put the labels here? See, remember, we've talked about labels before in class. Why do they put them there? What do you think? What do you think, huh? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, Miss Barry. Oh, yes. Okay, Flash, go ahead. Oh, wait, Flash. I just noticed something. Your outfit's a little bit different. Oh, oh yeah. There's a reason for that. Oh, yeah. I noticed you have like a lightning bolt and stuff on now. Yeah, okay. So I have something to admit. Um, I, my outfit actually was Iron Man's outfit. And like people, I like borrowed it from Iron Man because uh, like my suit, I, I broke it. I wrecked it. I kind of like threw it in the garbage on accident and I have no idea where it is. So um, I knew that Iron Man had like a red suit. It was like close to mine. So I like went and borrowed it and stuff. But then like people, they kept saying, hey, Iron Man, hey, Iron Man. I was like, dude, I'm the Flash. Why are you calling me Iron Man? 
they kept saying, because you look like Iron Man. I said, fine. So I went out and I changed my suit and now I have this really cool lightning bolt and I have my lightning bolts on my sides of my head and so now I'm the Flash. And now people know that. Oh, okay. Well, um, that was so nice of Iron Man to let you borrow his suit. Uh... You, you did ask him if you could borrow the suit, right? Maybe. I, uh, Flash, are we going to have a problem with Iron Man later? Just don't tell him, okay? I promise I'll return it in really good condition, like, later. Okay? Okay, Flash, but I'm going to expect you to, to tell Iron Man about this, okay? <sighs> Fine. I'll tell him later. Okay, but I still have an answer to your question. So, like, all these, like, labels here, they tell you what trees they are because they're like totally different looking trees and maybe I'm from a place that doesn't have some of those trees and like I would be like hey man what's that tree I, I don't know what that is it's got like some yellow things on it maybe it's oranges that just look weird or something but they're really lemon trees and stuff like that yeah okay uh, shh kids don't tell Iron Man I borrowed his suit okay I'm counting on you Great job. Okay, that's a good reason why to have labels. And it's also a good thing, children, to make sure you ask before you borrow things. I hope Flash doesn't have a problem with Iron Man later. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page. Okay, this tree grows in the country. It might grow in your yard, too. Do you know what kind it is? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, Spike, what is it? It's an apple tree. I like apple trees. Good job, Spike. It is an apple tree. This is an apple tree. The apple tree came from a seed. The seed was small. It grew inside of an apple. Have you ever seen an apple seed? Ask an adult to help you cut an apple in two. The seeds are in the center and they look like this. All right, go ahead and turn the page. Very nice. All right, so most apple trees come from seeds that are planted. Sometimes an apple tree grows from a seed that falls to the ground. The wind blows leaves over the seed the wind blows soil, that's another name for dirt, okay, dirt. So the wind blows soil over the seed. All winter, the seed lies under the leaves and the soil. All winter, the seed lies under the ice and the snow and is pushed into the ground. Yeah, more stuff goes on top and all that stuff weighs down on the seed and it pushes it into the ground. And spring comes. Rain falls, the sun comes out and warms the earth. The seed begins to grow. Great job. Okay, so how does the seed go from an apple to growing in the ground? How do you think that might have happened? What do you think? Okay, yeah, yes, go ahead, Slobber. What do you think? I'll have to translate. So, Slobber says that it could have happened because maybe he went under a tree and he ate the apple up and then left some of the seeds on the ground because he just, he kind of left a mess. And then after that, the rain and everything else pushed it down into the ground. And then, after all the rains came down, then the apple tree was able to start growing. Good job, Slobber. Nice answer. Okay. So, so far, what are these pages mostly about? What kind of information did they choose to talk about on these pages here? What do you think? I know, I know. Uh, yes, princess, what do you think? Um, so, uh, like, totally. Um, on these pages, see, hair and hair and hair and hair. It's talking all about how the seed started to grow into the tree. 
Yeah, it's just all about the seed and how it even got there and how it even started. Exactly. Good job, princess. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page. At first, the young plant does not look like a tree. The tree is very small. It is only a stem with two leaves. It has no apples on it. A tree must grow up before it has apples on it. Each year the tree grows. It grows tall. In seven years, it is so tall that you can stand under its branches. In the spring, there are blossoms on the tree. Spring is apple blossom time. So fantastic. Those are some of my favorite times. All right, so after so many years, what happened to the little plant? What happened? Oh, yes. Howdy, I would like to answer that one. Uh, yes, Dogman. Um, so after a lot of years, the seed, it grew and grew, and it grew so big, it had like flowers and everything all over it. Yes, great job. It did. It grew so tall. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the page. The blossoms last only a few days. Then they fall to the ground. Can you imagine that? The, the flowers on the tree, they only last a couple days. And then they fall off. And now there are green leaves on the tree too. Among the leaves, there are small apples. The apples are where the blossoms were before. The apples are green and they are almost too small for you to see. The apples grow very slowly. Okay, they grow all during the spring and the summer. Can you see the apples on this? Where are those apples? Yeah, they're right there. Do you see those little tiny green dots in the middle? Those are the apples that are going to start to grow. Everywhere where some flowers, blossoms fell off, that's where an apple is going to grow. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. And then the tree used to be covered just in blossoms. So how is that tree changing? How is it changing? What do you think? I can tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you. Oh, yes, Spike, go ahead. Tell us. How is the tree changing? Okay, so like... Like the tree, it had nothing on it, and then it had some blossoms on it, and then it had green leaves and little tiny green apples, so it's like getting bigger and bigger and changing with leaves and everything. It's just getting more stuff. Good job. That is a great answer. Uh-huh, the blossoms, they fell off, and now there's going to be small apples on there. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and change the page. Turn the page. Great. Okay. In the fall, they are large and ripe. They are ready to eat. We can see the apples and the leaves on the branches. We can see the branches growing out of the trunk. We can see the trunk growing out of the ground. We can see the bark of the tree. The bark covers the branches and the trunk like a coat but there is a part of the tree that we cannot see. So, I have a question for you. It says here, the bark covers the branches and the trunk like a coat. What do you think they mean by that? Why do they compare it to a coat? Hmm? Yeah, I want to answer that one too. So, like, um, a coat, it totally keeps you warm and and I like coats too, especially like when I'm going to go like snowboarding and stuff on the snow. Yes, I do snowboard. I snowboard pretty fast too. And I'm awesome at it. Anyway, so when I'm like snowboarding in the cold snow, the, the coat that I wear, uh, it keeps me warm and I wrap it around me. And so it says the bark covers the branches and the trunk. So the bark, it, it's that brown stuff that's all around the tree and all around the branches, and it makes the tree kind of cozy and keeps it protected from other things like the cold and other like bugs and stuff. 
And yeah, like that, Miss Perry. Um, that was a that was a great answer, Flash. Good job. All right, uh, are you gonna go off and save the world again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you told Iron Man about uh, borrowing his suit yet? Uh, I haven't had time yet. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, so yeah, he was right. It covers it like a coat. A coat would help keep you warm and protected from the cold, and it does that for the tree too. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page. All right, now it was talking about parts that we could not see. And what are those parts? Let's find out. We cannot see the roots. They are under the ground. Some of the roots are large. Some of them are small as hairs. The roots grow like branches under the ground. A tree could not live without roots. Roots hold the tr trunk in the ground. Roots keep the tree from falling when the wind blows. Roots keep the rain from washing the tree out of the ground. Okay, so here's a question. So what is the main idea about this part of the selection? What's sort of like the main thing they're talking about? Hmm? What is that? <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> what, what is it all talking about, slobber? <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. It's talking about the roots and the different ways in which roots are important. Kay told us all the ways that roots help the tree. Mm -hmm. And how do the roots help the tree? I know, 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 I know. Uh, yes, Spike. So the roots are amazing. They like hold the tree in the ground. And then, and then when they're in the ground, if the wind blows or the rain falls, it keeps it there. Yeah, it keeps it still. And they're, they're so small and they're just so important because it keeps them from falling over. And it keeps them from washing away when the rain comes. Yes, that's a great job, Spike. I know. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the page. Roots do something more. They take water from the ground. They carry the water into the trunk of the tree. The trunk carries the water to the branches. The branches carry the water to the leaves. So you can see in this picture here that the roots from this tree, they kind of go all over the place. And if it rains, that rain goes into the soil or maybe there's a, a puddle nearby or a lake nearby, okay? And those roots, they go and get the water. And the water goes up the roots and up the trunk and into the tree branches and into the leaves. Yes, exactly. Hundreds and hundreds of leaves grow on the branches. The leaves make food from water and air. They make food when the sun shines. The food goes into the branches. It goes into the trunk and roots. It goes to every part of the tree. So you see the sun is pushing out its light mm -hmm. and it goes into the leaves right here. And then from the leaves, the leaves like, they're like a chef and they like make things. They're like the cooks and they're making the food. They use air and they use sunshine and water and they mix up all the food and then they send it down the branches into every other part of the tree. That's very amazing. And how are these arrows helpful? How do they help? Uh, yes, howdy, 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 howdy. Um, I think um, that they help because then they let you know where uh, the direction that everything's going. So like in the other one with the water, uh huh, it like shows that the water is going from down below and going up. And then the one with the sunshine over there is showing how it goes from the food is going into where the leaves are and that's where the real food is made, okay? The sunshine goes into the leaves and then the, the leaves kind of make the food and stuff and then it sends it down. So it kind of helps you keep track of which direction each thing is going. It describes the picture a little bit better. Oh, that is such a, oh, an amazing answer there, Mr. Dogman. Thank you, Celebrity Dogman. Isn't he great having on this show, kids? Oh, it's amazing. I'm just, sometimes I'm so flushed. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the page. All right, 
Fall comes and winter is near. The work of the leaves is over. The leaves turn yellow and brown. The leaves die and fall to the ground. Now the tree is bare. All winter it looks dead, but the tree is not dead. Under its coat of bark, the tree is still alive. Yes, it's alive. So what causes the leaves to die? What do you think? What causes them to die? Hello, um, yes, I want to answer that. Yes, what, what do you think causes the leaves to die? Yeah, um, I think that, it, well, it says right there that their job is over. And so since their job is over, it's almost gonna be winter time. So they, the sun isn't out as much anymore. And so the leaves, they start to fall down because it's gonna need new leaves to do new apples. So those leaves, their job is done and they fall to the ground. Good job, uh-huh. All right, so let's go ahead and turn the page. All right, spring comes again and rain falls. Mm -hmm. Rain falls, let's see. The sun warms the earth, the tree blossoms, a new and new leaves grow. As long as it lives, the apple tree grows. As long as it lives, the apple tree blossoms in the spring and apples grow on it. When do you like apple trees best? In the spring, when they are covered with blossoms? In summer, when they are colored, covered with leaves? In winter, when they are bare? or in fall when they are covered with apples. Which one do you think? So that's the last page there. Which one is your favorite? Yeah, I kinda, I kinda like to. Um, I think that it's really cool when they have apples on them. And I also think it's really pretty in the spring when it has the, the pretty flowers all over it too. In the summer, it kind of looks like a normal tree, but those are probably my two favorite things. I really don't like the winter one. I guess some people might like it, but I just think it doesn't really look very fun. It looks kind of sad. So I'm glad to know that it's not actually dead though. When you see the trees, they're just sort of hibernating like a bear does in the winter time. So remember, we were focusing on our sequence of events. Who can tell me the sequence of events to how this one little seed turned into a tree. Who can tell me that one? I can tell you, yeah. Uh-huh, well, go ahead, Flash. Yeah, so like the seed, it turned, it was like, like what Slobber said earlier, he was like eating the seed and eating the apple, I mean, and then like the seed fell on the ground and then it got pushed into the soil. And then after it got pushed into the soil, like rain came and rain came and rain came and if it's a really, really rainy winter, uh, then more rain came and more rain came and more rain came and more rain came. And yeah, it was like a lot of rain. And then the seed, it like starts to kind of come out. And, and, uh, I think I forgot, Miss Berry. I think I forgot what happens after it comes out of the ground. Oh, that's okay, Flash. Um, it probably is a good idea if we all share the work anyway. Uh, okay. Would you like to call on a friend to help you finish? Uh, yeah. Um, whoa, dude, is that Dogman right there? What? Yes, yes, it is. That's Dogman. Dude, I've read all his books. He's like my hero. I'm like a superhero, but he's like my hero. He's so awesome. I know, I know. And so we are so grateful to have Dogman here today. Would you like Dogman to go next? Yeah, that would be awesome. Dogman, can you help me out, dude? Um, I'll listen to you, and I'm going to stick around. Oh, uh, yes. So here is what happens after. It goes into the ground, right, just like Flash said. And then after it comes out, it just has two little leaves. And then it grows taller and taller. In about seven years, it is very tall. And then 
it starts to grow some blossoms on it and then those blossoms fall off after a couple days and then after a couple days the, the apples, the little tiny apples are little green things on there and the leaves they begin to grow as well and at the end the leaves are so full and the apples keep growing that in the fall the apples are ripe and they're ready to pick and then after they are picked and the season is over, the leaves, they're kind of done with their job for the day and actually for the season. So they start to turn yellow and brown and they fall off the tree. In the, in the winter time, the tree looks like that, but it's not really dead. It's just waiting for the next spring to come. Yes, that is what I learned today in Miss Berry's most awesome class. Thank you so much, Miss Berry, for teaching me. I learned a whole lot today. Oh, well, thank you, dog man. I, um, you are welcome in our class any time. You are very intelligent. Thank you so much. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, class. Well, have a good day. I hope you enjoyed having our guest celebrity dog man in our class today. Be good for your parents. Okay, goodbye.